What's up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Really trying to grind back on the vlogs. I want vlogging content back on this channel, so give a thumbs up on this video, and I will get a fucking haircut. Look at this hair. Anyways, how has it been going? Well, I have managed to slowly but surely turn my legs back on. The minute my legs started coming back on, oh my god, I went backwards again and overall felt like dog shit because it's all being pulled from my upper half into my legs finally. But it seems like I have days where my legs do hold size and that I can contract them later in the day. You know, it used to be a point where I couldn't contract them at all, no matter what I was doing, even training legs. Then in the previous vlog you saw little bit of baby separation but like after the gym like i couldn't contract them i finally had a leg day where i could still contract my legs after as far as my hair quality it's going in and out again meaning when i had only my upper half working and my body was just adjusting to my upper half my hair did start recovering and then i noticed as my legs turn back on my hair has like a more shitty feel and i'm obviously balding at this point because not only like the shroom shit was making me bald but the recovery i essentially had to use dihydroborn on which is very close to dht and then sodium valparate made my hair fall out like my pillow looked like chewbacca each morning i woke up So it'll be interesting to see if I can recover my hair at all, but I definitely obliterated probably like 10 years, 15 years of my hair, whatever. I'd rather have no hair and be able to live a normal life than, you know, just continue suffering in that perpetual hell. And I've just been fucking exhausted all the time. I've actually been like... The last vlog I was like really scared to push my CNS from how many times I fucking crashed and by crashed I mean like I had to lay down on the floor think about nothing not move my body at all to get to a baseline after like 20 minutes of doing that so I'm really trying to give my body the cues to again increase 5AR expression and overall adapt back to the skeletal muscle tissue I have because in this footage I am 250 something pounds in the morning fasted and I probably walk around close to almost 260 pounds so I don't really feel like I'm 260 I kind of feel like I'm like 220 I don't have any of that freak fullness and I don't have anything popping you can see my back looks so thin because the aloe level is all in my chest and that I still don't have the accustomed level like each day I go in and battle my body's like oh shit we need a better storage like what were we doing like fighting something like that's the type of adaptation I'm trying to push without overextending and also trying to turn the legs back on because the legs do not want to turn back on like I'm training them as frequently as I can and they just do not want to turn back on like my upper body but hopefully this is the light at the end of the tunnel as far as the rna bioregulators go i did a full 10 days of a vial of each one a day took a significant break off i've been off for five days and i did not go backwards meaning it reset the mutation like i thought like alex kegel said and i have a new baseline and I will do one more round, another thousand dollars of bioregulators to try to get to 100%. I am not using PEA at all. I've been so happy to get off that. I've spent so much money wasting my whole fucking bank account on PEA. And it's just been really, really fulfilling not having to carry bags of fucking pills around with me because my fucking body will randomly fail. Like, before I would train, I'd feel normal training, you know, and then all of a sudden I have too much dopamine, aloe can't offset, and like I'm literally seizing up in the gym, walking out. I feel like I can't walk out of the gym, let alone drive home. Have to fucking sit there, chug a bottle of pills, completely relax my mind, think about no dopamine whatsoever, 
and then fucking squint because I don't want to look too much and then I wore sunglasses all the time to stop the dopamine. I had like my amber blue lights on. So my amber blue lights probably cut dopamine in like half that's hitting my eyes. And I was doing all those little tips and tricks just so I didn't die each day. But it seems like I've made it through the worst of it. And I am healing someone who only used finasteride, right? Never took lines, main, only used finasteride. I want to showcase that, again, this works for PFS and that these syndromes are very similar. I'm very happy watching this footage, seeing that my teardrop, you can actually see my teardrop. I'll have one of my editors throw up the first leg day back. Again, couldn't contract the teardrop at all. Even after the gym, couldn't contract the teardrop. And then after the cameras turned off, you know, I'm like almost having a seizure basically. Can't move until the ala level offsets the dopamine. My CNS was so fucked up. And this is a more extreme case scenario from the skeletal muscle I had, right? I definitely feel like the victim that I am recovering he's he's significantly battling like it's not like a fun recovery it's been very rough very emotional for me to do this recovery but he does seem to be recovering faster and he's around 200 pounds so again i definitely feel like my extreme crash was due to the fact of how big i was how dense and strong i was and then my psychology right you know it's just like everyone's going to be different there's no one size fits all but the pathway out of the hell seems to be very similar i've just been looking forward to getting over this point in my life right this is a canon event that happened in my life and i'm done with it you know i just i'm gonna make the cure video put this behind me and move on and you know a lot of guys are like oh this like made you so much stronger and all this this is all true but like after going through it, I would never want like it. It, it just like I, I'm like waiting to die more. My soul aged <laughs> like fucking twenty years in seven months. It was like that bad. Linear time went that slow, and like all that shit's hitting me. Like my emotions are coming back, and it wasn't like ego death. It was like I was literally mentally slow. And you know, I used to remind myself like you weren't slow. Like it became that level of insanity. At one point, I'm very blessed to have a family that gives a fuck about me. I'm very blessed to have a long-term relationship that basically completely took care of me because I couldn't fucking walk around. I would fall down the fucking stairs, break my toe, couldn't walk my dogs, just couldn't go to the grocery store, have to Uber Eats, everything. Like, it's just been, you know, through the ringer, you know, I just like really ready to just get back to my normal content i'm really you know not looking to bore my audience you know i understand i picked up a lot of people who are suffering from this but like i understand from my regular audience perspective that this is not why they subscribe they subscribe for the crazy biohacking content and they also subscribe to see me get back in fucking shape like they wanted to see me get back in shape and beat that peak look at 23 and that's what I was trying to do before the shroom thing. I had 10 times more tissue. I was 10 times stronger. Sure, I was a little fluffy because I was eating 5, 6K calories a day. But trust me, the amount of strength I had, density, I was so happy. And then boom. The last thing I wanted to touch on is the Valparate might have completely redone my epigenetics around muscle building. A.K.A. changed my insertions. So... I don't know. My girlfriend notices that my chest muscles look different. My shoulder muscles look different when they're full of aloe pumped out. And she thinks that I changed, mutated, altered my body the way it responds to resistance training. Because remember, when my RNA was open when I was younger, I used my RNA to become an elite distance runner because my father was a division one distance runner. So I already had the genes for distance running and I wanted to amplify further down that path. This would be the equivalent of if I was younger, my RNA epigenetics were open and I'm like, fuck it, I want to be a bodybuilder. I definitely, you know, I'm not going to draw the conclusions now, but I feel kind of different. And as far as the client goes, he notices a big difference as well in muscularity after Valparate. And when I read into the data around Valparate, one of the, <laughs> one of the side effects is, you know, 
muscle gain, like extreme muscle gain. So I don't know if there's any merit or truth to that. I'm just throwing that out there that I might have Captain America myself to get out of here. Obviously sacrificed all the hair along with it, but I still have a mop on my head anyways. That's again, you guys gotta like the video for the haircut. I did clean up the beard. I got a beard trim, so you guys should be happy about that. I'm not complete incel, fucking dead to the world, fucking I can't even, like, make a sentence. Like, why would I, like, care about vanity when I can barely talk in my house? It was just, like, <laughs> it's just been so funny. Like, I'm watching back through all those videos of, like, how slow I was. And, like, I was, like, trying not to be slow, and I knew that, like, as I recovered and looked back on them, be like, oh my god, like, I can't believe I pushed that hard at the beginning. I'm very glad I did, but I'm, like, exhausted approaching the finish, you know? This pump did last a lot longer, but my body was so fatigued from training legs that my DOMS delayed onset of muscle soreness was killing me on my legs, meaning that my legs were pulling from the upper half which made me a lot flatter less full and i only did a little bit of strength work i didn't get up to the 125s because it you know when you're allergous to low, your joints your tendons your shit gets messed up i don't want to use bpc and tb500 to offset shit when i know what it's from it's from my central nervous system and it's because my 5ar expression isn't back to normal yet to support this skeletal body it's muscularity yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm really excited that I just can live a normal life. Like, I am very humbled in the fact of, like, oh, my God. Like, everyone just plays all these victims, right? That's the most realest shit I've ever had to deal with. And I've broken bones. I've been sick before. I've had horrible concussions from wrestling. Like nothing about the done tons of psychedelics like that pfs crash is something like i don't even know how to describe it right it just alters the way you perceive reality if you make it out of it and that's if you make it out of it and i'm really hoping that this cure video again if you got some balls you can get out of it as well but you definitely got to be willing to risk it for the biscuit i'll see you guys in my next video